Hi everyone! Welcome back to the Babe Cave. As you hopefully remember, I am Babe Shaylen. And if you don't, it's nice to meet you. You should go back and watch all our videos and like them and subscribe to us because we have fun. And if you like fun, you should join us because that's what we do. Today I am going to be unboxing my Sephora Play. Boop. Um, I will be honest with you guys. I have opened the box and that was Nana. She just woke up. That was crazy. Um, I have opened this box before. I did film this video once already, which was last night, but I was so sick last night and I was being so salty. And then the video was like 30 minutes long. It just wasn't even worth me trying to edit it. It just was not worth it. But it was only yesterday, so I definitely remember my first thoughts, so I will be giving them to you. Uh, but I did like the box. I know that I like the box, so I'm going to tell you guys that right now. Uh, sorry that I am not super attractive today. You know, like I don't have my makeup and all stuff done. I just got off of work, and I'm trying to clear up my skin. I go like, ah. <laughs> trying to clear up my skin so I'm just taking off my makeup like as soon as I get home from work and washing it and moisturizing and moisturize because it's cold outside. That's what I'm doing. Either way, Sephora Play, how it works, you have to go and basically we put on a wait list for the, for the box on the Sephora website and then the box is $10 a month and then they charge you 60 well at least me and I live in Utah and then so I don't know if they charge shipping to other states or anything like that. Uh, then I get charged 65 cents in tax. So it's 1065. It comes once a month. You get five sample products from, uh, I'm sorry, six sample products from the Sephora stores. This is, it always comes in like this little box. And then when you open it, and just like I said, I've opened it before, so it's kind of all over the place. You get a little pamphlet that tells you everything that is in the box. It opens up and it kind of gives you and it opens up and it gives you a description of everything in the box and then this front part just kind of shows you a picture of what you got so these are very personalized boxes which I really like but they do send out less variations than other boxes like Ipsy and Birchbox and stuff like that and it also comes with a play pass now a play pass gets you a uh, like a sit down makeover tutorial thing with somebody at a Sephora store and also it gives you 50 extra points when you make a purchase inside Sephora you have to actually go to the store you can't order online uh, inside Sephora um, before the end of the next month so my October box uh, which was my first box so this is my second one I have to purchase something to with this card in the store to get those points by November 30th the November box I have to do it by the end of December if you don't live in Sephora that's kind of a downside just like me, I don't live near a Sephora, um, so that's kind of bad. I really wish they could do that so we can make this, do this online, but I understand why they want us to go into the store. Like, I get that. Either way, let's get started. Bag this month is super cute, because the uh, theme is, I folded this wrong, sorry. The theme is best in glow, so like, they were going for like, it's winter, hydrating, uh, making your face glow, things like that. Really, like, to me, it makes me think of, like, healthy skin. But the bag this month is super cute. Um, it has the glow getters and then, like, a bunch of a lady all putting a mask on, getting her skin all soft. Um, bunch of cute little designs on it. I really like this. I thought I wasn't going to like the drawstring bags, um, but I actually find myself going to grab these more than I do like with my Ipsy bags. I just feel like I can fit more in here. I don't know, I like it. I really like the bags. But even though I've already seen it all, let's just pull it out. So the very first thing I am pulling out is this Hooray for, oh, hooray, I'm just reading off this paper. That's not what it's called. It's not called Hooray. Um, <laughs> this Cotele Paris Minasaurus Moisturizing Sorbet. 0% all those things that you don't want to put on your skin. This is what it looks like. Oh, can you see it? I don't think you guys can read that. I'm so sorry. Let me get it really close. 
yeah, so it basically, um, it's a moisturizer while calming redness, blah, blah, blah. It's very light. This, I don't know, this bottle just feels empty. It smells really good though. I already have like a bunch of moisturizer for my face. So I don't even put it on there. It's very light. I'll probably end this passing it, probably end up passing this along to someone, like one of my girls from work, because of the fact that I don't use a light moisturizer. Like I have some really dry like skin patches and I just gotta like, poof. see, I'd be like, mm, on my skin. That's what I like right there. I don't know why I'm doing it like that. That's very odd. Okay, then this next one is the Rose Gold Laura Mercier Caviar. Oh, this is really pretty. I remember this. Caviar eye color stick. So it's like an eyeshadow stick in the color rose gold. So it's going to make your eyes pop. Mmm. There we go. Oh my gosh. Rose gold is probably... I swatched it right there on the end of my hand. I didn't necessarily choose the best lighting for this, and I'm sorry. Can you see it? Can you not? I don't know. But it's very pretty. I'll kind of show you the... It's a gold color. I would say, I don't... It's definitely more gold than rose, but I think it's very pretty. Yeah. Uh, basically, and you can also, for your eyes, you can use it. It's saying you can use it as an eyeshadow or even, uh, like... If you're like crazy good, unlike me, you could use it for a uh, eyeliner or under the eyes or a highlight. So just right here on the top of your cheekbones. And I'll probably end up using this soon because I think it's really pretty. Thank you. I really like this. I really like the samples I get in here because I feel like they're always like good product samples. Like I don't feel like I get any bad products like I do in other boxes. I don't know. Next in line is this Cover FX Illuminating Base Primer Base. <sighs> Sorry guys, I'm just, I've been sick, so like my nose is all runny and my throat is all itchy and you know how you get, you get like your intestines are all, I don't know. Anyway, back to what we were actually doing. The Cover FX Illuminating Primer. So it is a primer. Um, put it on. Use fingers or a brush to blend the small pea sized amount into cleanse, moisturize skin before putting on makeup. It's supposed to make you look super glowy, I guess. Let's use a little bit. I am looking for like a good primer. I have a bunch of different ones that I've tried. Um, I'm honestly not a fan of the professionals. This is so soft, guys. This is a really good primer. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm super impressed. You can't see it because it's obviously clear, but it's really soft. I'm used. I'm not a big fan of the professionals. Maybe I'm just not using it right. Everybody seems to love it. I just don't get it. And then I also really like my um. This is my vanity one in front of. Oh yes, my Too Faced uh, hangover one. I also really like that one. Um, I guess I just feel that it's not moisturizing enough. I moisturize. And moisturize, 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 moisturize. Anybody who hates the word moist, I am so sorry. I didn't mean to offend you that much. I didn't mean to offend you that much. But yeah, I really also like this one. I just feel like it's not moisturizing enough, especially with the winter coming. So like in the spring and the summer, this is great. Or if maybe you live or like a less summer climate or you have a little bit more oily skin, I just feel like it's not enough. So I'm excited to try this one. Oop, I think I put it back in the bag. Yes, I did. Uh, next is this Glam Glow. Okay. So Glam Glow is something that everybody talks about, but I have no idea what it, well, I had no idea what it is until I opened the box. And it is a uh, face mask. And it's crazy. I honestly don't know what it's supposed to do, but it is silver. Let me read what it's supposed to do. Uh, oh, oh, I can't concentrate. Give me a second, guys. It's supposed to tighten your skin? Oh, 
Make skin appear firm and toned, and I'm sure it's supposed to make you a little bit glowy, but this, I'm gonna put this on my hand so you can see it. I don't wanna use a lot of the look, it's kinda of small. I just hope, the, I feel like I'm really gonna like this, so I just hope the full size isn't like $80, even though it's totally going to be. Look, I rub, so that, it is rubbed on my hand and everything, and that thing is like silver. It is silver. Oh my goodness. And it smells like, I don't know, to me, it smells like alcohol. But I think there's a bunch of different kinds of these ones. So this is the Gravity Mud Firming Treatment. And I'm sure, and I think other boxes got different Glam Glow. So I think like this is the product that was in every box, but just a different kind. I am curious to how much the full-sized is. Let's find out. This is like one of those things where like looking at it, I like, I know I'm going to love it. I know I'm going to love it. And then I'm going to want to buy the full size, but I can't because obviously I spent all of my money on subscription boxes, so I can't just buy anything I want. But let's look. Glam Glow Mud. What? What was it called? Gravity Mud. Gravity Mud. Mud in the grab. $69. Yeah, I probably won't be buying a full size, but I'm really happy that I have the sample size. And the next thing is the Sephora Collection Ultra Shine Lip Gel in Pinup Pink. So I'm not like a super lip gloss person because I just, I, I get like my hair gets stuck on it and I just, I drink a lot of liquids and I just, I don't use a straw. It's just not convenient. So I'm not usually like a lip gloss person, but it super fits with the theme. And so I really like it. It's very sheer. Like that is on the end. That pink on the end is one like layer. And it definitely would have to put this over something to get good color, which is what I like because my lips are just not bright, you know? I don't know. We'll see how, how I like it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just not super happy about it. Like, it is a good product. I don't feel like it is a gimmicky product. I don't feel like it's a bad product at all. I just wish I didn't get a lip gloss. I'm just not a fan of it. I don't know. It makes me a little sad, but I'm not mad about it. Anyway, so the very last one, which is my perfume sample. They send you a perfume sample every month. Um, which is really nice. I don't know. Some people hate getting perfume samples, but I actually don't mind it. I, I have, you can see like all of my scents and my lotions, like just back here next to this cute little antelope that I have. And he's just gold. Um, I don't know, but I like it. So this is the replica reproduction of familiar scents and moments of varying locations and periods. And this is by the fireplace, burning wood and chestnut. Boop, boop, boop. So while I spray this, oh, it comes out very easily. Oh, it smells so good. So good. Um, it's warm and spicy. Cloves, orange blossom, and pink peppercorns. The middle notes are chestnut, juniper, guac, guac, guac. I'm totally saying that wrong. Guac wood and vanilla, cashmere, cashmere, and peru bal balsam. I don't know. It's a male or a female scent, and I just think it's so pretty. But I guess it is flammable. <laughs> That's good to know. I just think this is so pretty. This is a really good box, guys. Like, I don't like the lip gloss. Which is like, okay. I can get, like, one not awesome thing. I'll still probably eventually use it, or I'll give it to someone that will use it, just because I'm not, like, a lip gloss person. But overall, I think this is a really really good box the best in glow and with only being ten dollars i feel like i get a few products that i will use i will use a lot and maybe even want to purchase the full size of i just think this is a really good box and if you guys i will leave a link down below to sign up for the waitlist because i do think it is worth it especially if you are near a sephora and um, and to all the products that I got, if there's something you want to try out specifically, and if you get Sephora Play or Ipsy or Birchbox or Glossybox or BoxyCharm or any of those subscription boxes, I'm always looking for new ones, you should leave a link to your video down below and I will go watch them.
because that is honestly what I do in my spare time way more than I should. Yep. Boom. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for coming and watching, even though this isn't necessarily a first impressions because I already opened it, but you guys did not want to see the other video. I can guarantee you that. Like, I want to be real with you guys, but last night was like unreal for me. I was so salty and I'm usually like not that salty. Like, I, I will admit I can be a bit salty sometimes, but like it was, oh, it was ridiculous and I was sick. Ugh. It was not a good night. But thank you guys so much for sticking around and watching this with me. I hope to be seeing you guys again soon, and I know I will, because this is only my first subscription box of the month. And if you want to see more of my subscription boxes and my unboxings, remember to click subscribe and like it so I'll show up on your feed. Yeah, perfect. And oh, we also have Instagram, me and Megan. So if you want to... Um, Go follow us on Instagram, that'll also be linked down below. And if you go and comment on one of our pictures and say, hey, I saw you on YouTube, go follow me. We will go right back and follow you. Perfect. Thanks, guys. Bye.